Thanks. Uh, I do have a big question this week, mm -hmm. uh, and this is kind of a it's a, it's a personal issue for me. Um, and I, I I'm I've been having a problem lately uh, with wrestling, and um, I'm I'm I think I think I'm burnt out. I think I'm I'm tired. I I tried really hard to watch Raw last night. I tried to watch uh, watch a lot of it, and I just couldn't. I ended up uh, turning it off, turning it back on, turning it off again, and and you know I I just uh, watched kind of clips later on, and and you know I try to I try to keep up with with NXT, which is you know wonderful, and and um, you know uh, uh, try to get caught up on Lucha Underground and everything. But I'm just it's there's it's just so much, and it, I think I think. I think I'm tired and I think I'm burnt out. And, and so this week's big question, I'm looking for advice. It doesn't have to be tailored specifically to me. It, it can be to a, um, a, a, an unnamed third party. Let's say you have a friend who is tired and he's burnt out on wrestling and he, but he, but he doesn't want to give it up. He doesn't want to stop watching wrestling. He wants to get back in. He wants something to hook him, to grab him by the throat. Like things used to, he's an old man who just wants to love wrestling again. How would you make that old man love wrestling again? What would you recommend to that old man? To love wrestling again. <laughs> I have no answer. I clearly have no answer this week. <laughs> All right, so he's out on that. For that, third person, for that. for that person, right? then you would. Uh, well, you know, okay, so actually, I think I think to look at yours, and we talked about this on the show a bit, but uh, I think we've seen this uh, actually culminate, this sort of situation of somebody getting burnt out, and then they disappear, but then they found something, right? I, I think Chachi's a good example of this. He's somebody that was really burnt out and didn't care about wrestling anymore, and he's off show for a bit, right? And then he discovered NXT. Which even he was he's been doing these indie shows with me since since the beginning of well actually late twenty eleven okay and the whole time he's just like yeah that's great and all but whatever indie wrestling right um, and we've had this discussion a lot I mean he enjoys being there he enjoys you know being around the guys and being a part of it but he's not really sold on wrestling or just really kind of down on it in general um, and then NXT happened and it seems to have revived his interest in general and then New Japan's Kingdom uh, Wrestle Kingdom 9 happened and it 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 livened him up and now he's back you know i mean he's he has the things that he watches and and it's great you know i think uh, for a lot of people lucha underground has done that to them um and i know you i don't know if you're just are you just down in general or are you checking out these sorts of things and not getting excited about it i'm open to suggestions <laughs> <laughs> so i think i think the idea is um you need to find what is your muse obviously yep. we all watch wwe because uh, i'm more out of habit than anything because we're right. longtime fans right. i watch monday night uh one i mean we do a podcast i want to be interactive with people and that's where people congregate that are wrestling fans right now it's the biggest place to be on twitter is Monday night. And to me, I think it's still important in my soul to watch Monday night live. You know, um, I mean, I'm to the point we've discussed this before. I, the only thing I still fib with uh, in the legalities of watching is Monday night raw because I want to watch it live. And it's not worth it to me to pay $80 to a cable company to have that, that right. Right. Um, but I pay for Hulu and I could easily watch that, that 90 minute version the next day without commercials because I paid the extra four bucks for that. Um, but nice. I still have to watch it Monday night with the world. Right. Even being on the West Coast and watching it uh, three hours later drove me insane. OK, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I have no idea how you guys do it out there. Um, uh, that's on the list of reasons I won't move to California. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, it, it's it's it's. So I think if you want to stay in touch with with WWE in general, like just watch the This Week in Wrestling show. Um, I mean, it's it's, it's on WWE Network, but I'm sure it's like online somewhere too, because mm -hmm. it's really just kind of a clip show of the week. Uh, just to kind of see what's going on, if you'd like, or even watch like main event or something on Hulu. 
Um, and that that will catch you up with everything important, and maybe you'll you'll enjoy that a little bit more if you want to keep that if you want to keep WWE in your life, <laughs> right? Um, but I think you really do need to uh, if you want to stick with it, find your muse, find that Lucha Underground or Wrestle Kingdom New Japan thing or NXT, the thing that does get you excited, you know, that rejuvenates you, and then eventually you come back around as that trend maybe spreads back around to wrestling, or you just come around in general. That's kind of a wide advice point does that make sense mm-hmm. okay i i would say with with the best advice i would possibly give uh is we talk about it a lot on the show that wrestling is very multifaceted there's a lot of different styles there's a lot of different approaches and there's not a necessarily right or wrong way to do wrestling uh what i would suggest to that person who is who is burnt out uh would be Take time and sit down and and maybe I would say make a list of what you love about wrestling. Right. Is it the high flying athleticism? Is it you know uh, you know storytelling? Is it you know uh, in in the case of maybe like WWE? Is it like big name stars? Is it pageantry? Is it that kind of aspect? Uh, I would do that. And if it's multiple things, then then that that works as well. But take what you love about wrestling maybe even rank it in a sense and find the thing that gravitates to what you want. Uh, if you like the more high athletic, you know, uh, crazy flip and, and all that kind of stuff and watch like a PWG or a ring of honor. If you want, uh, deep storytelling, watch the Lucha underground, you know, if you, you know, I guess it depends. It all depends on what you want. Uh, there, we live in an, I think the reason people get burnt out nowadays isn't because necessarily a bad wrestling is because there's so much wrestling mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there's yep. so much wrestling to the point where you, it's hard to even, you know, if you're watching however many hours of professional wrestling in a given amount of time, you can, I mean, you can find some good stuff, but you also have to sit through a lot of stuff that you either don't, aren't, aren't passionately you know in love with or is bad to you you know so the more you can refine your watching to the stuff that you truly love i would say the better i like that all right right all right um so lb like like any relationship relationship with wrestling can sometimes need some freshening up i would say maybe go to an old reliable. Like, find a pay-per-view that you know you love implicitly. Like, WrestleMania 17. You set aside a three-hour block. You get yourself a good meal. You sit down, maybe watch it with a lady friend, maybe watch it with a dude friend who loves wrestling as much as you do or did before you got burned out. And you watch the pay-per-view together, and you talk, and you discuss, and maybe imbibe a few alcoholic beverages, and you just get back to the roots. Hmm. That's what I would do. Because hmm. trust me, with all the with all the product I had to watch uh, when I worked there, because we had to watch, God, so much WCW Saturday Night. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can no. get out on, oh. You can get burned out on it really quick. Mm-hmm. So I would come back and every now and then I'd pop in like mm, SummerSlam 2002 mm-hmm. or something like that. Something that I know is really pretty decent from start to finish or, you know, just something that it's like it brings back all the good memories. And then it can like you can draw parallels to stuff that's going on now, too. Nice. So, nice. yeah. Well, you, Bert. Um, I think for for me, you know, it's it's. Uh, it's sort of a combination of what everybody said so far. You know, find find something you like about Raw, and and try to glom up to that as much as possible. For me, it's it, it's you know, as I said to you, sort of the, the new day. It, it just you know, I watch for the most part. I watched last night in its entirety, just like so be ready for tonight, and just because I haven't done it in a while. But um, you know, watch something that you know, just something that grabs you. Find one thing that grabs you. You don't feel compelled to watch the whole show because you know my eyes would boil over if that if that was the case. And I've cut back drastically on the wrestling I watch. I used to watch, you know, all the different televised hours of WWE. Mm-hmm. You know, now it's just literally pay per views and maybe a quarter of Raw, just because that's all I can really take. 
there are other things going on in my life. There are other things going on in the world. Um, and, and I try to catch the other things when I can just to keep up on it. But, you know, maybe just scale back in general because it'll always be there. The wrestling will always be there. Whether or not you watch or not, it will always be there. And, and for the most part, I don't think it, it, it takes that long to catch up. You know, find any online reviewer that you, you know, you glom onto that you like to, to read and you can catch up that way on your own time. And if you say something that, oh, hey, this sounds like it might be interesting, guess what? It's online, chances are. Go back and watch it. And, and then find it that way. And, and make the most use of your time. You know, maximize your minutes. Make the most use of, uh, of what you can. And maybe find one thing to watch regularly just for the sake, as, as you said earlier, Sorg, that you feel compelled to watch. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll still feel compelled to watch Raw because what if I miss something? And then, you know, you realize three hours later, okay, I didn't. But... You know, it, at least it was there. At least the feeling was there that, yes, I got to watch it. And, yeah, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's, you know, bad. But either way, you watched it. And you can move on. So wow. that's where I am on it. All right. We got some from the chat room as well. Uh, Garza is saying, uh, LB, the answer is give up WWE's 100 plus hours of TV and just enjoy Lucha Underground. Uh, if that fails, uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla is once a month. Uh, cars uh, puts on. What you do is you buy enough Pro Wrestling Gorilla to watch an hour at a time between now and the time Lucha Underground comes back on TV. I think there's a trend here. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. So, um, so, so, how are you feeling, LB? I think these are all uh, excellent uh, pieces of advice, and uh, I'm excited to try out these different techniques. There you go. Hope you report. I think they all they all make a lot of sense, and I'm hoping that something will click. Because I do, in my heart, I love professional wrestling, but it just, it's just I just need I don't know I need something mm-hmm. I need something, and we're gonna figure out what it is. And uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, Awesome Kong's gonna be on Bound for Glory. Shit. <laughs> 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 well, there's that. There's that as well. Do we, are we giving away a DVD uh, for this big question? Oh yeah, we because are. Mike we are. Mike may get it. Mike may get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll just send that over. Actually, uh, if you want to respond to us on Twitter or email us, but I'd like you guys to respond on Twitter. Sh- share with the hashtag WMS Big Question, and uh, you'll be in the running to win. Actually, uh, Volume One. Ah, the picture went away. Volume One of. Uh, Rise of the Peacock, the best of Dalton Castle. Oh. He's he's the hot thing in uh, R W. I'm oh, geez, which one? Sure. Ring of Honor. <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. RWA. We'll Bring him. him over. Bring him on over we'll to RWA. Him. You know. <laughs> um, but uh, but but no, he's a uh, best of him in, in, in the IWC. Um, and, and Volume One actually includes him with uh, Cole Cabana, Sammy Callahan, who's now uh. uh Crow. Solomon Crow. Solomon Crow. Solomon Thank Crow. you. Uh, there's even the one where he's in a pillow fight with Justin Plummer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing.